before uh, humans fragmented the habitat for Barron's top minnows, we had droughts and you would have these headwater populations disappear, but we always had downstream populations that were healthy and robust that you could repopulate these upstream populations. Now all the downstream populations are gone either from impoundments or the invasive mosquito fish and really all we have left, left are these upstream headwater populations and so when these droughts hit there's, there's no alternative. When these are gone, they're gone from the system. Just, just think if you know normally it's maybe you and your spouse and a couple kids living in a big house and then all of a sudden that house is cut down to one room and everyone on your block is also in that one room. How stressed would you be? Well that's what happened with these fishes. There was this big river and now it's just a few isolated pools. All these aquatic animals are packed into a small space. They have to compete for food, for oxygen, just for space to live. Not to mention any predators in there are just having a field day. So this causes huge stress and disease. And we're seeing just a lot of disease in these fishes, even our more common species, just because of the drought and the stress it's creating on our, all our aquatic communities. We ended up collecting 64 out of uh, a nice one large isolated pool and a couple other pools a little further downstream. We're going to take them back to the Tennessee Aquarium Conservation Institute where we'll put them in system, systems and keep them as an ARC population uh, where they'll be nice and safe. This work's important because if we hadn't uh, rescued these 64, this entire genetic population of Barron's top minnows would have disappeared. So now we've got these 64 individuals, we can propagate them, keep their genetic variability around in, the, in uh, Barron's top minnows and uh, reintroduce them back into other springs that don't have mosquito fish. If we wouldn't have done this, in all likelihood all of these would have died and we would have lost this entire population.